for stress management. In this video, you are going to learn 10 powerful tips that will help you to manage stress. Imagine the stress you are going through. If you know these tips at your fingertips, they can help you release stress and help you be in order and maintain your health. So we'll be looking at these tips that will help you manage stress. In the table of contents, we're looking at what is stress all about, the effect of stress is for stress management, and we're looking conclusion. Anyway, you are welcome to Wellness Drive. In Wellness Drive, we help you discover ways you can maintain a healthy lifestyle, prevent diseases, and as well, treat any disease or health challenge you are facing. Please do subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel. Also, remember to put on a notification bell to help you get notified whenever we post a content like this. So let's get started with these tips, 10 tips to help you manage stress. First, what is stress? Stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, anger, or when you, have, you feel nervous, stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand. When you are challenged or facing demand, your body becomes stressed. It can be in form of mental stress, emotional stress, or physical stress. So these are ways that stress comes from. So now let's see the effect of stress in the body. When you are facing stress, either mentally, physically, or emotionally, you are going to feel a kind of aches and pains maybe aches around your joints, your body, or some other part of the body. So you can feel chest pain or a feeling like your heart is racing, like him, your heart race up. That is a kind of stress. It can be because of some things, maybe a news that you got, your mind gets stressed and you feel such. Then exhaustion or trouble sleeping. Some people face stress as a result of exhaustion they have what you call insomnia. Insomnia is a disease that causes you not to sleep. Then some other ones like headaches, uh, you feel aches in your head, dizziness or shaking. Some people start shaking like they are having Parkinson's disease. So it's a kind of stress. These are some of the symptoms or signs or effects it deposit in the body. Then high blood pressure. Stress can lead to high blood pressure. In this aspect, your body becomes tense and the arteries that have the blood flow are no longer in good terms and your heart begins to raise and the pressure of the body goes up. The pressure of the blood grows up and this is very bad as it can affect the state of your heart and some people fall down on that case and they may die off and the rest of them. So stress is very, very dangerous. Then muscle tension, muscle tension. You feel like muscle tension, seizures, and the rest of them, all these results are a result or effect of uh, stress. Then stomach or digestive problem. Stress also can contribute to stomach or digestive problem. Then also having problem in your sex, trouble having sex. So men have uh, begin to generate uh, uh, erectile dysfunction, uh, low libido and the rest of them, all these things are caused by stress. Now, how are you going to manage stress? Be looking at tips to manage stress. Number one tip to manage stress is get exercise and physical activity. Exercise helps your body. It helps the flexibility of the body. The body becomes flexible. Uh, the muscles become flexible. When you exercise your body, even your mental state is affected. Your emotion as well is affected. So exercise and physical activity is very good for your health. It's very good to reduce stress in your body. Then secondly, eat a healthy and balanced diet. A healthy food balanced diet can help you release stress. There are several cells that are killed by stress in the body. So all this stress can be replaced by eating a healthy diet. There are uh, certain fruits that you can eat that can help you 
provide some certain minerals. Mind you, stress kills or sucks a lot of energy from the body. Stress kills the cells of the body. So by eating a healthy food, a healthy balanced diet, taking some supplements that are good for your body can help reduce stress in your body. So a good and healthy uh, diet is number one way that you can reduce stress or manage stress in your body. So that is it. Then the third one is minimize screen time. One of the things that can cause stress in your body is uh, working with a computer, phone, or a kind of people who are given to watching TV programs all the time. This can contribute to stress in the body. For instance, when you are looking at the screen, the light rays from the screen begin to stress your eye. And this is one of the reasons so many people have eye problems today. If you're a kind of person who is engaged to screen or who is using laptop always, there is need for you to manage your screen time. And I swear, learn to use the dark screen mode in any, any uh, of the device you are using. You can minimize your screen light and the less of them. So all these things will help you to um, manage stress and also keep your body in order. So then get self-care. It is very, very important for you to get self-care, awareness of yourself, know your body state, the, how your body reacts to activities. This is very, very important. You have time for yourself, time to take out, time to rest, and this is very, very important. Then the fifth one is limit caffeine intake. Caffeine is known to uh, contain some chemicals that stimulate the body and causes uh, improper flow of blood. This is a reason why caffeine could contribute to a lot of people having a, a high blood pressure or migraine. So it is very, very important that you limit your caffeine intake or alcohols too. Alcohol, some certain kind of drugs can also uh, contribute to large stress in your body, stressing the organs like the liver and the kidney. So it is very, very important that you limit your intake of caffeine and some certain drugs, alcohol, and the rest of them. Then the sixth one is sleep well. Quality sleep. A good sleep should last between six to nine hours. So if you have a very quality sleep, you are going to help your body cells to rejuvenate. You are going to help the repairing of your body cells. Mind you, when you don't sleep well, you are causing problems in your body, especially the organ of the body, like the brain and the kidney. The kidney dies when you don't sleep well. So it is very, very important for you to sleep well. When you don't sleep well, you are killing yourself. Mind you, stress is very dangerous and stress can reduce you and kill most uh, cells in your body. So you have to have adequate uh, sleep adequate rest and sleep. So that is very, very important. Then the seventh one is create boundaries. Boundaries by knowing what to do at the right time and doing it at the right time. Do those things, uh, things that will make you stress you, know when to do it and when not to do it. So create boundaries. Then the eighth one is be open. Be open to tell people that you are going to a particular uh, going through a particular problem, maybe emotional problem, physical problem, or even uh, when you are passing through a problem that is bigger than you, you can share with people. Uh, people will help you to know how to curtail and uh, know how to manage those things to avoid it stressing you and breaking down your heart, your, your health. So that is it. Then the ninth one is practice yoga and meditation. When you practice yoga, yoga is like a kind of medication, a meditation where you are yourself, in your own self, you feel yourself, you meditate on the things that are right, things you need to make amends. So this thing will help you in helping your mental wellness and also helping you be in order, to be in order and maintain a very good uh, health. So you practice meditation uh, the best time could be in the morning or in the night. So when you practice meditation, you are trying to recollect and help you 
uh, focus and uh, do some certain things that are necessary. Then the last one is avoid procrastination. Procrastination is very, very bad. And this is one of the reasons why you might be undergoing stress. One of the reasons why procrastination is very bad is that the things you are supposed to do now, you leave it for the next minute. And as you leave those things, the compound effect of those things pile up. By the time they pile up, for you to finish those uh, activities or those programs or those jobs that you are supposed to do, it now deserves you going through strenuous uh, uh, activities to make sure you finish them. So avoid procrastination. Do the right thing at the right time. Make sure you have a calendar that guides you to follow through and get things done the right way the, and the time they are supposed to be done. So I hope you got value from this short video. This will guide you and help you stay healthy. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to remind you, if you have not subscribed to our channel, if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit the 